Ms. Idlow, thank you so much for taking some time for us today. You and your colleague Nikki Ashton have written Indigenous Services Minister Patty Haidu calling for concrete action to help First Nations dealing with the climate crisis and extreme weather events. Why did you feel the need to write the minister? Uh, there are a few reasons uh, to write the minister. Uh, right now with the cabinet shuffle, I think there's an opportunity to shift uh, back to what the original commitments were for this Liberal government to work better with Indigenous peoples. And I think that they could use this opportunity to be reminded uh, of the important commitments uh, that need to be continued to invest it in for First Nations communities. Uh, I'm recalling the Auditor General's report, for example, uh, the stark uh, information provided by the Auditor General regarding uh, First Nations peoples being evacuated going as far as back as 2009 is completely unacceptable and we need to make sure that uh, this government uh, is responding to the needs of First Nations Métis Inuit communities. So then what are some of the solutions and actions that can be taken here? Well, uh, unfortunately the solutions aren't brand new. These are the same solutions that have been offered for decades. They need to invest in First Nations communities. Uh, First Nations need to be able to uh, have the resources that they need so that they can respond to emergencies. Uh, their voice needs to be heard. I know that First Nations Métis Inuit communities uh, have important knowledge and experience regarding the land, with the, regarding the environment and it is their expertise that needs to be heard so that when responding to emergencies, it's the First Nations that are uh, making sure that they're calling uh, to uh, responding to those uh, emergencies. So investments uh, as well as ensuring that Indigenous peoples are part of the solution. And what do you think is, is the price of inaction? Um, it will be a continual portrayal of Canada's uh, genocide against Indigenous peoples. If there's no action, it means that this government is still willing to use its genocidal policies to uh, erase Indigenous peoples from Canada. So they need to do better. They need to invest so that they can see Indigenous peoples as the original peoples of Canada and work with Indigenous peoples to make sure that we're all having a better Canada that we all can be proud of. Ms. Idla, we'll have to leave it there, but we certainly do appreciate you coming on and sharing a bit of your thoughts with us today. Thank you.